Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Immortal Tactics War of the Eternals, a roguelite turn-based tactics RPG that we're going to be checking out the demo for ahead of its release. The game's coming out in two months, but there's a free demo on Steam. That's what we're playing here today. In Let's Go. Wildlands on normal, I suppose. We were given the option of a couple different... Okay, what's this about? Uh, protect the weak and innocent from the evils that surround by the, are surrounded by the war. All right. And time is ticking. Defeat all enemy units in 14 turns to save yourself and all of your allies. So this is a required uh, win condition, and this is a not required win condition. I'm assuming we just get some kind of benefit if we go for that. But there were two options for different kind of like heroes that we could have picked to uh, be like our champion or whatever. Like this son of a gun. And then there were, uh, I believe, four options for different characters having your little tiny army. The more that you can unlock, uh, I imagine more will be in the full game when it's out. But there also may be, there may be more in the demo as well is what I'm getting at. Uh, but what do we got here? Okay. So I popped in already. It gave me like a brief little tutorial, like the quickest, the quickest possible tutorial. Uh, and I guess it's not giving me it again here. Uh, but basically, it's your standard fare, as in you have your abilities, you have your, like, your separate characters. They can move, they can have their abilities, they can have four maximum here that you unlock on level up. You level up by hitting enemies with a skill. You get bonus experience if you kill an enemy. That's basically it. Hit enemy with a skill, you will start to level up. The more that you level up, the more skills you will have. Basically, what you need to know, use a unit more, they get stronger. Uh, pretty standard, but the way is it's worth mentioning because it's like a little bit different Unlimited uses Inflicts one damage on to one unit with with a range of three just double when attacking unit from behind Okay, so step one is the move phase and then the attack phase and then the enemy's attack phase and then the next turn Okay all right, so step one, protect the weak and innocent from the evil. So who are the weak and innocents? <laughs> Who's the weak and... Am I the weak and innocent? I sure feel it. Um, and then defeat all enemy units in 14 turns to save yourself. I mean, that that's fine. So what do we got here? When a unit is moving from this hex, the movement speed is reduced by one. Movement speed cannot go below one. I mean, I'm not sure what my movement speed is. I'm going to assume it's... Two? Or it's hard to say. You look like you only have the movement speed of one. You might have two. Seems to be the case. All right. So I think even though we might get kind of bottlenecked there. Oh, this is Caddy the Cat. Protect us. Okay, never mind. Oh, my God. We got to protect you at all costs. Just kidding. So here's the thing. We have a... It says with a range of three. I don't know if that means at a max range of three. So as much as I hate this, I'm going to be moving right there. You better freaking not. You better freaking not. <sighs> Fine. Oh, oh, this is different. This is, this is a damage tile. I thought this was just another... Uh, when a unit ends their move on this hex, unit receives half damage from this hex. Ah, okay. Well, fair enough. Understood. That makes... It makes a lot of sense. What do we have for an ability here? Inflicts half damage. One and a half damage. Weird. To one target and also sets that target status to burn, which causes half a damage every attack phase for three turns. Interesting. It's weird to use half damage instead of just like... <laughs> Having double. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Who cares, I guess. But, like, why not just have 10 health? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 10 health, 6 health, 6 health. Uh, but, yeah, this is already already a rough go of it there. So we've done that. In that way. Two damage to an adjacent unit with your sword. Unlimited uses? What do you mean? Okay, so two damage to an adjacent unit. I'm happy to go for this one because you can get that guy up there. You become stronger with God's blessing. Uses left zero. Heals all of your units for four health and gives them all health regen status, which lasts for three turns. Okay. Fair enough. And then, all right, what is this here? What What's the range on this? Range of two, right? Better not approach my cat, you jerk. These sound effects, man. 
<laughs> These sound effects. One moment. All right. I don't know. Can't can't adjust it too much. That's fine. Uh, one damage with a range of three deals double when attacking behind. This is not actually very great unless we can somehow attack again. Nah. I guess I was hoping that was gonna do more, but I guess it probably if it only does one damage. Why would you attack that? Is this part of the weak and innocent? I guess they're just... I mean, I'm happy with it. It's, it's fine for them to do that for me. We, I do probably want to move. You will go for that. That's nice and clean. Can we move through our own unit? No, we cannot. Two and a half. Two. Are you still burned? You are. So this feels like that might be a good call to go for there. I just wish we could get you out of there. Can you attack through another unit? It sure looks like it. Then we go here. I don't love, love, love it. But that's fine. And then you stay there. I think that's all right. So we just don't have this ability, huh? Wonder how we get it. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Okay. So you go for that. Become stronger. So now we have a new ability. Heals two health to a single unit. Heals, heal, heal deals damage to undead units. Cool. All right, I'm really hoping you actually can attack. Good. Also counted as a back attack. Casting with the Earth's energy to grant a unit to a unit, granting it regeneration. Heal one health every end of its movement turn for three turns. I mean, cool. Like, thank you. Uh, wields your sword, inflicts two damage to three units together that are adjacent to you. Uh, that doesn't even kill. So, and you're, you're burning at the end of each attack turn. Yeah, if I can't kill anyways. Hopefully, since you are ending your turn on here, you'll take damage anywho. Ow. We're going to definitely need to go for that heal. Hey, there we go. We're fine. But we're going to need to probably go for that heal there. What's your deal? Can you move to or can you attack to? Seems like we're in range. Half damage one using your, using your bow and your arrow. Plus one extra damage from obelisk. I don't know what that means. Alright, so we're just I'm just thinking you've got to be within two tiles of this guy. I think that that's gonna be a good call. And this is just when ending. When they end their move on this hex. Alright, that's not that big of a deal. God, your movement is terrible. Alright. You give us this. Oh, that turns us around. Interesting. So I'm sure there's some situations where enemies will be able to bop us from behind as well. I can't even. You just wait again. I'm sure we'll take a hit of some kind. Oh, no. Not even? You can't hit me? Oh, because you can't move and then attack. You have to... Oh, okay. So you have two HP, nice and easy. And you just you just wait there again. You just protect that cat, huh? Bop. All right. Okay. Now what happens? Now I'm now I'm curious. What's next? Okay. So we slowly fill that up. When we hit the one, do we get one use of whatever that ability is? The environment test your strength. Wait, test your strength with forces of it. Join 
Environment, wait, what? The environment tests your strength with forces of it join in and is set to see if you are worthy. Okay, well, whatever. Defeat the celestial void and release the innocent souls from this area to their freedom. I was just wondering, like, am I reading this wrong or is it? That's the thing. All right. Required. Operate all of the levers to open the gate and have more armies push through the enemy units. Kill eight enemy units. Survive is one. Don't let any allied units die. I mean, I don't want it. I don't want allied units to die anyways. What are these about? What are these freaking rupees? Does that man have a dagger taped to his face? Oh, it's a plague doctor. Uh, gives the unit an additional skill use and one health when received. Ooh. Okay, so the levers are... Here, here. Here, here! Look at this guy. Is there just two? Looks like there's just the two. We do keep our levels up, though. To health. I mean, we can obviously get a kill there. Boom, bop, boom, boom, bop, boom, bop, boom, boom, bop. <laughs> Three loops, who? Alright, um... What do we go for? We can just get the free kill on that. Move here to health. We could do 1.5, and then we could do the burn status. We might take damage. We might take damage. I can't. I can't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> it's too. Why is that so satisfying? All right, why would you do that to me? Ah, oh, God. Can you move an attack? You probably can't. Maybe move. we'll get goblined. It's fine. We might get arrowed here. It's fine as well. Free attack. Okay, I should have realized. Takes damage to the end of each attack turn. Maybe we go for a little bit of HP regen then. Ooh, wait. Can you only have one status effect? Then I like... Okay. You, I think maybe you can only have one. So we kind of like... Womboed it. So just... A, only a couple of the sound effects are too loud. Okay. Alright, I do want to go down there and get those... Current kill count, one, two, three, four, five, six. Excuse me, there's not even eight here. How am I supposed to kill eight enemy units? I'm glad it's optional. All right, so three and a half. Two damage to three units together. It doesn't say enemy units, which concerns me. Okay, it looks like it's fine. We can we can be hit by you already. But we're already in range to be hit by that son of a gun. Are you in range of that? I think that maybe we're fine. Unless we want to move up. We can't move up there. I think we're just fine. I think this is actually just okay positioning. Maybe more units are going to spawn. Whoop. Yeah, I just don't mind this. Level up. Curious to see what abilities we got. Half damage done. Don't really care too much. We have a limited amount of heals though. Oh, and you only have three health. Okay, I see. You've done something. Thunderstorms. Expect thunderstorms to happen here, inflicting units in this tile by one half damage and give paralysis for a turn. Okay. Well, and we've already used up that. 
I'd like to go get those. Oh no. We have a use left of that. Creates a lightning storm. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, cool. So they, they can do it too. Uh, deal one and a half damage to up to six targets and have a 30% chance of inflicting paralysis. Up to six targets in that entire radius? I mean, that's pretty cool. We just need to make sure we are out of the range of attack of everybody. Because if we're already going to be taking the lightning blast, we can't take the other hit as well. We can't We can't take both. Um, I don't hate this. I wish we had another use in that, but hey, you know. This with this with this. And I think we scoot back right like there. We still have the regen. Can we heal ourselves? We can. Should we heal ourselves? We probably should. I can't hit anybody. And you're the only one who can hit there. So we go for that. And then we get the kill on this. It's not going to be the greatest. Who just leveled? No. Environmental phase. Ugh! This unit cannot attack. Okay, so there's the spawn in. So we can get eight. We can. If we want. Oh, I actually kind of bummed that we can't attack this turn. So you got one health. Gives you one health and a skill use. I don't hate that. Like just going to going up there, grabbing that son of a gun, backing up away from that. We don't want to kill them. We'll take that extra hit anywho. You don't have the ability to do anything. Well, we can hit the uh, that big AOE maybe. Probably not. Probably counts as an attack, I would imagine. Okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. Your attack does not have unlimited uses. Okay, so this mage is... Okay. Huh. Does this give an initial skill use to everything? If so, then maybe it's worth scooting over for. Don't love it. Don't love it. So we got our ability back. We can't do anything on that one. I'm assuming we can't do this. Nope, we can't. We can't do that. We don't have any uses in that. All in all, it just sucks. Gathers the strength and fires a bow with the gust of wind inflicting half damage to one unit and knocking back one time if possible. If not possible, does extra damage. Uh, okay. Back attack. I mean, I can't kill you, can I? No, but I can make it so you can't make it to me. I don't mind the back attack. We can get up there. We can hit that lever. Then we'll move down here. We'll tussle. Hopefully, we can get eight kills before anything happens. But this is just kind of bad. Attack the air. Yeah. Just, just kind of bad. The attack, that makes sense. Man, you're so limited. What's the... So we could go here, attack, push back. Move, move. Fire blast, yeah. Do one and a half, two. Total dies, AoE blast. I like that. I like that. This is a uh, wasted on you, for sure. Hmm. I can move here, blast him down that way. Because then I can move up. But I kind of want to slowly move you towards this, but then we're going to take the arrow to the face. 
That's not nice. I think it's just gonna have to be okay, though. Deal, wait. Land uh, a move on this to activate a lever, allow your archers to advance and attack your enemies, doing one damage to all of them. Oh. It's intriguing. Part of me wants to just... Oh, okay, so the lightning storm is a, a small targeted thing. Gotcha. Honestly, it's not that great. Land a move on this. By that, do you mean end a turn? End a move turn on it? Okay. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer. Should be okay. No, it's not going to be okay. We'll have to Earth's Rejuvenation that for it to be fine. I was kind of banking on that. But I feel like the fire is after, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that sucks that the fire's after. Oh, man. Oh, please! Oh, that's so unlucky. All right, so we're definitely going to... Give another one of these. You do not. move you here this is gonna be that's half of a damage we can move here attack i guess like can we even not really we can we'd have to do our big boy blast and i don't know if i want to do my big boy blast for it uh but it's one and a half you have no status effects i guess that's just fine and this is just bad like Kind of just across the board. This is bad. Half damage. This is half damage. We almost might as well just end on this turn. Or on the, this tile. Because everywhere else... We take damage everywhere else except for he here. Here. But I don't know if I want to end there. Because I might want to be able to support... I could get an attack off there. Because this is a lot of damage coming out over time we can move out of the way of everything else we can't move out of the way of that so if we move here take half of a damage on the archer but then we can't heal we definitely want to heal we definitely want to heal what's the radius mm. that is a bummer that is a bummer all right well we pretty much have to go here then almost have to but yeah sucks there we go. Why are some of the sound effects on that? It's crazy. All right, so I guess we will do this to ditch the poison status effect mostly. Helps out a lot, though. Um, what you pointing over there for? I know. I know. Thank you. But I, I, I did it. We could take another hit here. I don't feel like I want to spend my lightning blast, but we're going to be slowly moving over there, so maybe it's worth it. I don't know exactly how it works. If it just gives us one back on everything, then it really means we might as well just do that. Environment phase. Sure thing. Yeah, man, the fact that nobody can... Attack move. Move attack is great for us. You literally don't have an attack. Point. Level up. So there's also, like, that's part of it is just who do you want to have leveled up. Um, so we're at level three with you? You got Gust of... I already had Gust of Bow. Why did it say level up? Did I, did I not already have that move? You what, mate?
Enemy reinforcement. Fair. Understood. All right, kill count, we have seven. So I want to kill one more. So how does that work? So yeah, we got one more on everything. Okay, so you can actually just get that kill. Oh, it's going to be a couple turns. I mean, there's not Whatever, there's nothing better we can do than that. You move in to range here. Here, we get the free kill on that. That gives us the eight win condition kill count thing. Uh, you are now level four, and you actually are. So you get shattering pierce, pierce through the armor and shatters the unit, dealing two damage, inflicting weakened, which adds one more damage to the unit whenever they are attacked. Fair, fair enough. I'm going to say worth. I'm going to say worth. The question is, like, should I be, like, farming points? Should I be farming abilities? These Do the uses come back at the end of the level? I don't know. I don't know. I'm assuming not. But it feels like we want to level up and farm experience to some extent, right? So, like... This, we obviously want to do. This, I guess, is fine. This, you just get down there. Back up, I guess. Why, why, why risk it? That's infinite. You get more level up. This, this I'm a little sketched out by. I don't know if this is... I don't know if that one's a good call. Finesse Mastery. Mastery with the Archer's Finesse grants the user 15% chance of evading an attack. Oh. All right. All right. Not bad, not bad. Have to. Just have to. Enemies turns. Oh no, watch out, the enemies. All right, good. All three, uh, all three objectives done, Zo. Not bad, not bad. Okay, leader skill added. So, what does that mean? Like, can we... We can use it once now? Poor souls that had wandered and decided that having no purpose is life itself. How blind and manipulated the souls in this area are. Would banishing them from this world release their pain? Ah. Defeat all required in ten turns without losing anybody. Gotcha. I'm assuming I'm going to hover over here and it's going to say one, but we can use it once like this. But maybe not. Maybe that's, uh, maybe at level one we get multiple uses. Heals all of your, all of your units for four health and gives them health regen for three turns. I mean, it's, it's a powerful move. Draconic Slash inflicts one and a half damage, adds bleed, which damages the unit. Suffer half a damage for every tile they move. Oof. You can move three, right? No. Two. I thought you could move three. I, I could have sworn. Well. Hmm. You have a ranged attack. You have a ranged attack. Is there like a tab or something we can... I would say uh, a quality of life hotkeys in like any turn-based tactic game, like a little button or toggle or hotkey that you can... See all of the threat, threat squares is usually really appreciated. Maybe that's part of it though. Like that's the thing is if that's an intended thing, if you don't want that because you think they're like, you're a purist, you're like, you should be able to see all the moves. That's fair. Then that's fine. Maybe that's the case. Uh, maybe that's the case. Who knows? So we have three use. I think we get, we get all of our moves back. Okay. All right. We made the right call then. I can kill with one hit here if I move you up to that spot. But that's probably a mistake, isn't it? 
half damage. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. Already, huh? Wow, it's fast. Is there a restart area? Two restarts left. Oh, that's kind of nice. What's this? Oh. That's these are. Hey, look at that. Uh, I don't think I need to restart just on that, but... Pierce through armor, shatters the unit doing two damage, inflicting weakened. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Believe it, believe it or not, I don't hate it. Uh, uh, I would much rather kill the Plague Doctor. So two. I don't really want him to get his attack off, though. That's just too nasty. Too nasty for me. Alright, we used up a lot of abilities right away. I think that's okay, though. Ooh! Ooh! I love it. I love it when a game does that. I'm a sucker for that. If I can be affected by it, let them be affected by it. Typically, that means it's vice versa as well, though, so... We gotta be sketchy. We gotta be careful. Oh my god, what the heck? What is this? Frost Order that provides an additional skill use when waiting on the attack phase. Oh. Oh, okay. I gotcha. I... <laughs> Does it hit this whole circle? Rain of arrows. Enemy archers will be firing on the spot and inflict one damage to any unit here. Alright, well, we obviously have to move. Which is a shame. I would have liked to move up there. Whatever. Uh... I might be able to do an arc shot that way. Okay, if I move down right, you should be safe to do that. You just kind of vibe, man. Just kind of vibe. All right. We're going to get arched. Right here. I feel like this is a fine situation, though. It's just not that big of a deal. We have the gem sitting here if we want it. Time is ticking. We've almost got that. Do we want to make sure we level up? Who, who do we, like, who would we like to level up more? Is there somebody I'd like to rather, like, level up specifically? Maybe the warrior? Maybe the archer? Skill upgrade. What does it do? I don't know. It's not a huge important thing. Okay, so th those both got up to level 4 now, which is nice. Frost Aura. Don't I already have that? It says I'm level 4, but it also says that I have Frost Aura. <laughs> and I'm confused, man. Am I not level four? Like, am I level five? Why do I have Frost Aura? What's going on there? I mean, I'm fine with it, but it feels like I'm cheating. Okay. thing. Beep bop, beep bop the dewey. We don't need to heal. We're gonna go up to full health at the end of things. Move phase. Thank you. Very kind of you to move closer to me to get destroyed. Very, very kind of you. I'm happy to have you up. 
Boink. Definitely don't need to use my thing. Nice and easy. Triple objective there. It's just another use, maybe? Demo over! No! I actually, it's quite nice. It's uh, it's very straightforward, very simple. Like, it's it's certainly a kind of a minimalist take on things in a way. But in a way that I enjoy. I, I really do enjoy that. Angel of Death? I didn't even use my ability because I thought that we'd be going for longer. Oh, we got got. Angel of Death, Sacrificial Offense. All of your hero skills have increased damage of one while inflicting cursed for three turns. Target enemy will instantly die. I mean, it's kind of fun. Unit. I don't know, man. Uh, let's pop in very quick just to see what this unit has to offer. But yeah, like, I don't know. It depends. If there's only three more units, I mean, it depends. I You know, it's, it's ripe for deepening and, and becoming very, very broad, everything like that. Uh, the system with the, the character level ups, everything is, is quite nice and quite welcome, quite appreciated. We could theoretically... Okay, so that's the thing is there's also expert in in the demo here. Maybe he's going to be a lot tougher. Who knows? Show your leader that you can win without the help... With the help... Without the help and power of him. And your three units alone can save the army. It's a very long-winded way to say don't use your hero power. Uh, defeat all the enemies. Alright, so yeah. What do, what do you do? And what's your upgrade tree like? But yeah, just imagine like... Uh, a patch... Like, or a, a little update comes out. is like two more characters are released like the amount of uh added variety and depth that, that brings it's just having like one new possible character to throw into the mix it does add quite a bit um but like the whole talent tree system it's, it's very simple nothing here is like particularly breathtakingly new or or anything but it's just it's a simple concept done well and i don't know why like this space feels like there is I'm not going to say that it, that it doesn't exist. It's just like the amount of turn-based tactics, roguelites that go above and beyond and go wild is is pretty high. Like, I don't know. I, I like the, the streamlined, clean idea. Very, very low numbers. Like, I get it. I, I get the halves and everything. Like, it's, it's understandable. But I like it. It's just very straightforward, very clean. Uh like tabletop RPG combat really this unit gives up its own life to heal a unit with three health oh my god wait this unit's health becomes one and you need your health to be more than one to cast this heal instead deals damage to okay so you are straight up a priest immune to the cursed status and heals this unit by half health for every movement turn double exp is given when healing a unit to its full health while killing a unit grants a single xp see that's that's very interesting this is like a completely different son of a gun we'll just do this round here hmm we'll do this round here i kind of want to heal like healing somebody up to full grants them health i almost feel like i should have like end my turn on the damage tile with them so that we could level them up. It's so That's so strange, though. What a weird... What a weird thing. I mean, we'll take damage. That's a leveling up. Alright. Added health. Okay. Okay. Half damage done. Well, there we go. We can we can get ourselves back up to full. We only have one use per turn of it, though. I do miss the archer. Like I feel like this is. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. It's a lot of. Uh, four health, three health. Get a lot of damage to take. But guess what? We can we can just take it, and it's not that big of a deal.
We have our cleave, right? Yeah, we have our cleave. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, so we, see, that's the thing. is We can definitely hit our allies. Um, I'd rather just you know, let that happen. What the hell? Ta-da! I mean, it's dangerous, but I'm trying to get some freaking XP here. I'm trying to XP here. Oh, boy. We already moved with you? Oh, you, you that's a status effect. That's just what you do. Gotcha. Ay, ay, ay. Should be fine. Go for that. And then this is what I'm talking about right here. Like, this is kind of nuts. Also, with the Divine Blessing, all attacks done to nearby units have a damage reduction of half damage. This unit is not included in the damage reduction. Lasts for two turns. This is a powerful character. Obviously, we can't heal him up again, but... This is a powerful character. But at the same time, how... How do we level them up well? I don't even know. Boink. Lasts for two turns? So <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. The range is higher than I thought. The rage is higher than I thought. It doesn't matter. Like, we are fine. Hip hip hooray. Half heal. That's like, it's not a bad unit. I don't know. I At first I was like, it doesn't seem too great. But I, I get it now. I get it now. Interesting. But, alas, alas. Uh, seeing as we know where the demo ends, I... I and it's not too far. I feel like I'm happy to, to call it there. But you, you do see, like, the uh, the, the randomized um, mission objectives. I think that that's a, the key to, like, a really solid uh, turn-based tactics roguelite is having varied and interesting objectives, uh, having very a wide variety of possible characters usually i would say builds to go with it doesn't seem like there's any kind of like um unique trinkets or actives or passives or anything which could be uh in favor of this sort of minimalist take on it that may be on purpose maybe it's just a, a scope type of a thing but i would i would think it'd be fun to have just kind of a you know, little passives or like tiny maybe like a little equipment or something where each character could have one equipment you could try and, and do like slightly stranger builds things like that uh other than that just i don't know yeah figuring out how to uh, incorporate lots of lots of units i think that is going to be a thing is lots of units lots of enemy variety lots of enemy or uh, player variety i would say is going to be pretty crucial for this to be a uh, like truly truly replayable deeply but I, I what I, I see here is just a nice, neat little package uh, doing nothing wildly new, but doing it in a way that, I don't know, for some reason it feels like it's not done super often. It's just like, what if we just took this very simple concept of a turn-based tactics game, turn-based tactics RPG, stripped it down to bare bones, and made it a, just a, like, very very much a video game you know what i'm saying like no little story little anything just go in go do your moves they're relatively straightforward they have like a little bit of an interesting gimmick to them uh, as long as you're smart with your positioning you're going to be fine uh but there's also the higher difficulty level slap in all of these unique win conditions hopefully there will be more of those as well just like just make this wider and then this is gonna this is gonna appeal to a lot of people if the price tag is not too egregious you know it's this will be something that will appeal to lots of people i think just because it's it's just doing a, a nice job is doing a nice job at a straightforward fun thing i have nothing particularly 
uh, bad to say other than that some of the sound effects are too loud. <laughs> you know, like when you're when that's the critique, like it's fine. It's it's fine. You don't need, you don't need to say anything. Yeah, again, it's not blowing me away in any field, but it's also like it doesn't have to. Like this is gonna be somebody's jam. This is gonna be like a lot of people's jam. You know, I think it, it's just a good time, a very good time. I enjoyed it. I'm curious about the game when it will come out in two months, coming out July 15th. Uh, you can wish list it right now. You can also play the demo, try out different builds, see if you can win on the harder difficulty. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. If this is a genre that you're into, this is a channel you should be subscribed to. I put out a new video every single day on a new roguelike or roguelite. Especially if you like the turn-based tactics genre, I make sure to not miss any great ones in that specific field. So thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel. Roguelikes more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!